circular economy has come into fashion. What are your thoughts about that? Well, it's a concept with, that is gaining momentum right now uh, for a number of reasons. In a way, it's uh, very uh, easy to comprehend what it is. It's about the idea of making resources flow in cycles instead of just take and use and waste, uh, which we have been doing since uh, decades in the sustainability movement. And society at large is learning more and more about it. But the reason why it's gaining momentum right now is that it comes out recently as a McKinsey report, not only talking about the relevance of recycling materials and trying to capitalize it, but also showing how much money you can earn from saving resources in this way and putting numbers on it. Uh, furthermore, it has been presented globally as an innovative concept whereby you can gather people in workshops and talk about how to be more cyclic in our behaviors and how to earn money that way. So it's a good concept. There are also risks with it. Mm -hmm. And I would like to address those risks. Uh, the reason is we have had so many economic models passing by lately. Ecological economics and true cost economics and bioeconomics and uh, now circular economics. And uh, I don't want that to happen to circular economy because many of the others have kind of lost momentum and then we have tried to search for something new and then we haven't had another and so forth. And the reason is that economy is a means for something else. And if we highlight any economy, any type of economy, as a sort of goal, as a something we could focus completely on and believe things to order themselves in the social systems and the ecosystems, that's a flawed mindset up front. We must ask ourselves, what is it we want? And then develop economic systems to get that. And if that what we want, in this case, social and ecological sustainability, is not on the table, any economic system is a risk if we overemphasize what it may be able to help us with, in this case, moving materials in circles. If we look at unsustainability, we realize that moving as much as possible in circles, materials in circles, and uh, trying to earn money from it, only addresses a tiny part of what sustainable development entails. First of all, it doesn't tell us how much we should recycle to stay within the principles of sustainability. Secondly, it doesn't tell us that certain materials should not move in circles at all, but be phased out. We shouldn't have them, because any amount of that circling around in society is part of growing risks of unsustainability, like plutonium or CFCs. We shouldn't have them at all. They shouldn't be recycled. Third. There are a number of things regarding sustainability that cannot be expressed in any kind of flow. For instance, management routines of cropland, uh, farmland, or brutalizing our ways of catching fish uh, by destroying uh, the habitats of fish, or uh, having too heavy machinery that compresses soils and uh, destroys uh, inf the infrastructure and the structures of soils, or uh, using irrigation systems that uh, make groundwater tables just shrink. Uh, those things cannot be expressed in flows. We must change the way we do things as well. Not to speak of our, the, the human predicament, the way we live our lives call for a humanizing of our economies as well. Uh, equalizing salary differences between, between people enough so that trust can be sustained and we don't drift apart anymore. Uh, there are so many things to think about that cannot be expressed in flows. This means that if people begin to focus on circular economy to the extent that they forget the big strategic task we have ahead of us, then we will lose it. If we, on the other hand, learn about the principles of sustainability, develop systematic approaches to get there, and then ask ourselves, for what endeavors and what projects can we make use of circular economy, then it can play its role and become something very good. As a means, not a goal. As a means, not a goal in itself.